Benedict Cumberbatch smells like a winner. But when he first arrived on the New Zealand set of the 1920s western, in theaters now, streaming Wednesday on Netflix, Cumberbatch avoided any actual bathing as a means of getting into character. Jane Campion, the film's director, initially encouraged it. My family had yet to arrive and I thought, I'm just going to go for it, Cumberbatch recalls. But then Shed invite me out for sushi or a walk and I was literally emanating, I had a biohazard zone around me. It was not a good time to cuddle up to Cumberbatch and take a selfie. Review, Benedict Cumberbatch stuns as a cruel cowboy in Jane Campion's Power of the Dog Although the no-showers experiment was short-lived, he did ask the wardrobe department not to wash his costumes, every now and then, they'd spray them with a bit of alcohol so they weren't lice-ridden. But I was. For Cumberbatch, 45, how he smelled was a huge part of connecting to the amazingly sensual and animal nature of Phil Burbank, a volatile rancher who works alongside his meek brother, George, Jesse Clements, when George meets and marries a benevolent widow named Rose, Kirsten Dunst, Phil becomes consumed with jealousy. He starts to incessantly belittle the newlyweds and Rose's sensitive teenage son, Peter, Cody Smith MC Fee, who forms an unexpected connection with his harasser. Phil's behavior is aggressive and abhorrent, but there is a taste of vulnerability, Cumberbatch says. This woman comes into his brother's life and he sees his brother glowing with love, and he can't stand it. Hess terrified, Hess fearful and he acts out. That usually comes from a place of insecurity. Kirsten Dunst wasn't sure about Power of the Dog, I wanted to play a really strong woman the slow-burning drama, adapted from Thomas Savage's 1967 book, wrestles with potent themes of toxic masculinity, gaslighting and repressed desire.